Hi, my name is Shili Ursi. I am Solution Advisor Business Intelligence at SAP Belux. In this short video, I would like to explain how visualization is done in Lumira Discovery. Since Lumira 2.0 is not yet general available, I have added a disclaimer. Let's have a look at the standard workflow in Lumira Discovery. In this video, I will show you how to analyze your data and then build a catchy dashboard. Now that our data has been uploaded and prepared, we're ready to start our analysis. In Lumira 2.0, we work with only one page where we do both our analysis and our story building. On the left hand side, we find all the measures and dimensions available to us in our dataset. We can also switch to design mode where we can then change the layout and the format of our charts and our story. On top, we can then insert new charts for our story. We can also switch back to data view where we prepared our data, or we can switch to preview mode where we can watch what our story will look like for our end users. Let's first take a look at an important page setting. Here we can change the size of the page. Like before, we have standard, extended and rolling, but we can also change the size to BI Launchpad. And this means that we can easily open the story from the BI Launchpad. Now we're ready to start analyzing and building our story. We've already inserted one chart and now we can add the data that we want to analyze. In this case, I want to make a simple comparison, actual budget and forecast per country. You see how easy we can create a chart by simply dragging and dropping the objects that we need. Just like that, we built our first chart. Now we can analyze this chart in more detail by going to maximize. In this detailed analysis view, there's much more we can do with the chart. We can change the design, we can change the fields that we're showing in the chart, and we can add functionality. Let's take a look. First, we want to add the data labels so we can see the figures. Then we want to do some comparison. We can add a dynamic reference line on the budget numbers so we can actually compare them. This way, we can see that France has an above average budget and the other countries below. With Lumira 2.0, we can customize our charts even more. For every measure, we can make some selections. We can choose with it which chart type and we can also assign to a secondary axis. For example, when we add the budget delta percentage, it's going to be a very small number. So we are going to want to display it on the secondary axis. We also want to display the forecast as a line rather than a bar. Now I would like to undo my action. I also want to remove the budget delta. Let's now go back to our main canvas and continue our analysis. Let's first resize so we can see the entire canvas. Now we want to add a KPI tile. We do this by adding a numeric point. We can simply choose the measure that we want to look at as a KPI, and then we can change the design of the KPI tile. We can change the background, and we can change also the color and the size of the value. We then also want to change the color of the chart title. And we have a new KPI tile that we can now reuse. To reuse, we can simply copy the tile. And then we can paste it anywhere on the canvas or on one of the following pages. By then switching the actual by the budget, we created the second KPI tile. Now let's rearrange our story a little bit to make it more clear for our users. We want to make our story interactive. To do that, we can generate an input control. First of all, we need to define a filter. There are several options to create the filter, and we can also make it a more complex one by adding several filters. In this case, we want to have all of them to allow the user to make their own decision. Now that we have a filter, we can simply drag it onto the canvas to create an input control. We can 
choose different type of controls and in this case we want to have a list. Let's see how that works in preview mode. Now when we deselect one of the countries, automatically both the tiles and the charts that are available in the canvas will change. Let's go back to design view to create some other input controls. Another type of input control is a date input control. Here we want to select a range of dates that are available to us. When we again drag the filter on the canvas, we can have an input control of the type date. As you can see, we can also move the objects on top of each other, unlike the previous version of Lumira. Now we want to create a third type of filter. When we select a range, we can use a slider input control. So when we drag the year selector on the canvas, we can here select control type slider. Let's see how this works again in preview mode. Here we can select a date, any kind of date or multiple ones, and here we can simply change the slider. And as you can see, all charts and tiles will change along. Let's go back to design view. Now that we have made our story or dashboard interactive, we can continue working on it. Let's add a pie chart. We want to analyze the actual per PL group. As you might already notice, the data labels have been improved. We can change the design of these data labels in the design mode. We can decide not to have them overlap, and we can also decide what they show. Standard, it will show the category name and percentage, but we can decide to show only the name. There are also some color options. We can change the color by changing the palette. And as you can see, the new Lumira Discovery has been enhanced with two extra colors. We can also customize the palette by creating a new one and saving it as a new palette so it can be reused across the different charts. Another interesting chart when analyzing data is a heat map. Let's add one. We want to analyze the budget numbers per PL groups and then per country. This way, we can easily identify the outliers or the exceptions. It's a very useful tool during your analysis. In some cases, it will be needed to add a table to your analysis. In Lumira, we can add a cross tab. The easiest way to start working with a cross tab is by going into detailed analysis mode. Here, you can then add all the measures and the dimensions that you would like to analyze. And we want to add the year in the columns to create a real cross tab. And now we can start changing the layout of our table. To start with, we can expand the columns one by one. We can also change the format of the figures. We can app, apply a scaling factor, for example, a thousand, and the scaling factor will be shown in the header. A complex menu is available for every cell in your table and allows you to customize your table. For starters, we want to add the totals. We want to add the totals both in the rows and the columns. There are several options to add totals. You can hide the totals if there's only one member, 
You can select multiple totals and you can show them. We want to do the same for the rows and the columns. Now we can change the formatting of the table. We can change either the header or the value. Let's change the font type to italic. And let's make the title a bit bigger. We can also change the background color. Like in the previous versions of Lumira, we can apply a conditional formatting. However, with the new Lumira Discovery, we can now also apply a conditional formatting on the dimension. As you can see, we can choose here between the measure and the dimension in order to build a new formatting rule. I want to create a new conditional formatting on a dimension. I want to highlight certain cities. So I can choose the cities that I want to highlight in my table. I want to fill the cells with a light green. And when I apply the conditional formatting, in the table you will see the highlighted cities. We're now finished with customizing our table. Let's go back to our dashboard. Our dashboard is almost finished, but it still requires a title. We can add a text field. We can give it our own description. And then customize the title. We also want to change the background. We can do this either with an image or a color. And then to finalize, we also want to add the logo of our company. I hope you can see how easy it is to build a dashboard with the new Lumira Discovery. I wish you a lot of fun building your own. Thanks for watching this video. In case you are interested to learn more, check out my tutorial video, which contains a complete introduction into Lumira Discovery, or check out my other Lumira 2.0 videos on my channel. Good luck, and have fun with Lumira Discovery.